Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to back to the channel my cyber angels and welcome to the new people I hope you are safe and well and I hope you are making good use of the recreational time or the quiet time, the lockdown um, and I hope I uh, will meet you tomorrow or Saturday in the live sessions as I'm going live to discuss the videos of this week this last week the ones that I put out last week and there will be discussion time and question time on my side as well as on your side and after the question or discussion time there will be time to ask personal questions I will only give readings to people that have done a donation as I would like to buy new decks uh, for the channel to keep it exciting and also um, you can pay during the live session or prepaid before the live session and I'll check it up before I go live so that uh, I don't you don't miss out on your question I will go live most probably e uh, for every side uh, zodiac sign separately and um, otherwise I might join let's say a Capricorn and uh, Aquarius together or Capricorn and Taurus the two earth signs I haven't thought about it yet uh, because if I start at nine o'clock then it will be six hours then it will be three o'clock at night in America so I don't want to do that I'll, I'll start a little bit later and I'll try to do my best but watch out for the times um, I haven't sorted it out yet because I do have to do other things as well between uh, the live sessions so stay posted and hit on that subscription bell and the bell and click on all then you'll be notified and if not keep Facebook also uh, an eye on my Facebook that's Charlie's Angels Tarot on Facebook and I'll put out a notification for each sign out there as well okay so let's begin with your reading I'm using the Archangel power deck the review on this deck that I did yesterday although it's an old deck is there so if you want to get to know the cards then by all means go and have a look let's buy um, a Diana Virtue and a, a Riley Valentine so I used them yesterday in the life as well and I hope you enjoyed it I did yesterday was a very good session it was so good that it even nearly lasted for two hours and I'm also using the romance of the angels and the answer of the angels and the color cards from Ina Seagull and I'll be making a review on that because I haven't done that yet I think can't remember and I'm also using um, uh, Paola Burberry and this is your card Taurus as this is your reading he is a close designer and but he also designs and is an artist on Oracle decks also on my cat Oracle oh I forgot the uh, Lenamon cards sorry about that I'll just have to reshake them and redo that so that I usually I start like this so I don't know what the cards are either and I like uh, keeping myself on my toes and you've got the tree as the overall energy and you've got a new beginning okay so let's uh, you can find more information in the description box or you can click the little white uh, circle just in the right hand corner just there and it will take you to the website your first card for the 20th uh, this reading is for the 20th to the 27th of April and we're going into Taurus uh, Taurus so if it is your birthday at the beginning or the end of April at the beginning of your star sign happy birthday and you have the five of Gabriel the Gabriel cards or section is um, the uh, wands rods or staves I don't know which ones you know but uh, this is um, um, to me is is a competition card usually you see five young men um, fighting not it's a it's not really a joisting really learning how to use the sticks uh, to defend themselves and some people say it's a dis uh, a, di uh, a, a card of discontent uh, or um, 
yeah, not arguing because the fi Five of Swords is the arguing and war card, but the ones is um, disagreements. So there might be disagreements around you, but I think it's more competition because look at the chess pieces on the chess table. So to me, this is more of a competition. So be aware of competition. And the card says a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So it all depends which perspective you have. And you have the clover. You, I don't know which way this is up. I think it's this way. That's the, the, the little st um, stem it grows on. So you've got luck on your side. I don't have too much room so I'll put it like that so you can see and your second card for Wednesday is the four of Ariel and Ariel Archangel Ariel um, is the pentacle cards and you've got another pentacle card so pentacles are quite prominent in your reading uh, I had one reading there were three and so you've got the four of pentacles if you've been too free with money then this is a warning to tighten up your purse strings if um, to me this is also a card that you've closed off your mind your solar plex your emotional chakra and also your heart because in the traditional tarot he's got a great big coin in front of his heart and his solar plex so open up that heart and that solar plex and enjoy let joy come in and love <laughs> sorry I needed to get some water and also open your mind to new ideas open your mind also open your eyes and see what is around you don't focus on what you want or what is in front of you but what is happening around you so that is that card so let Archangel Metatron clear your chakras and open yourself up and open your heart like I said then love can come in there might be a partnership there might be a new love or a new partner in business be prepared for that on Friday you have the six of uh, Ariel the six of Pentacles this is my give and take card this is also a card that you might um, if you are um, more fortunate than others then you might be giving your time to others or giving a gift away also um, uh, if you are less fortunate then somebody might give you a helping hand or a listening ear or a gift and um, the clarification card is a boat so abundance is coming in so it's more likely that you will be receiving something this could be a listening ear this could be attention this could be love because we've got the partner card here the ring and I forgot to read the bottom of this card so I will do that as well when you give you also receive being resistant to change extremes in how you extremes in how you save or spend money like I said if you've been too generous then tighten up those purse strings if you've been uh, uh, too tight loosen up open up a bit somebody might need your help but don't give money away or loan money if you know you're not going to get it back but I think you're going you're the one that's going to receive that's by uh, because the boat means abundance this could be love this could definitely be good luck and you might be making plans because you are in lockdown I take it but if you are allowed to move then you might be moving home or you might be going on a break or a holiday you might even be crossing water I had somebody uh, I was talking to somebody and I said you've got the card go uh, the boat so you might be going across water oh no 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 we're in lockdown I said well do you work yes I said do you have to go to the city and do you have to go acro across a bridge I said yes well then you're crossing water because usually bridges are used to cross water from land to land and she said oh yeah 
and the last card at the weekend you've got celebrations with family and friends as you've got the three of Raphael the three of cups and there will be celebrations again a boat so something is happening it's in the background but it's still there it's coming abundance is coming in so you can celebrate reasons to celebrate a community of a uh, community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children the clarification card you got on that is the basket and the basket means a gift and I was already telling you abundance could be a gift because you've got the six of Ariel the six of Pentacles okay somebody could be giving you a gift or a loan and uh, luck is on your side so you've got two luck cards in fact three the overall energy Taurus is that you've got new beginnings definitely you've got most probably a second chance perhaps somebody's coming back from the past and you've got a second chance because the rising dead are here and Gabriel is blowing life into them so they've lived before so they can live again that's the second time the second chance definitely a new beginning starting a new life finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past and as I said your boat is coming in you might be moving so that could be a new start okay then you have the tree family tree family is important to you space is important to you and the tree is green and it also means like you hear the money doesn't grow on trees but that's why I s and the tree uh, is green so the dollar is green so that means to me there is also something with money it's healthy because the tree is healthy you are safe where you are you've got roots so you might stay where you are but you're moving you might be getting money to spruce up your home or modernize it and make a new beginning a second time or a new beginning in your old home what a lovely idea with this lockdown you can do a lot at home um, as a lot of people I see at the DIY markets because I drive I do drive around um, not to go to the, those markets because I'm not doing anything except uh, my work and you have your soulmate yes this is your soulmate from the romance of the angels so if you are meeting somebody new um, it, you haven't got a person's card um, but I think um, it could be an earth sign um, Taurus it, you are an earth sign as well but you've got uh, two pentacles and that's prominent to me so it could be an other Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you've got magneta which is you've got a magneta and a magneta means that it's like a cyclamen pink a cyclamen pink color sorry that's me um, Millie uh, and it says um, connect with your deeper inner self and with your conscious so contemplate and meditate and evaluate get to know yourself a little bit better and you've got a number five so you might be a little bit of out of balance with all this happening so get back in balance my darling and let your inner child out be more playful don't be too serious and if you are sprucing up your home for example helpful people will be around you so don't uh, be shy to ask for help there are helpful people around you so ask for help there is competition there could be competition if you're selling your house for instance because we've got a house here and you know uh, be be m more flexible if they are offering you 50,000 below the asking price then try to compromise this is also what this means because you can see the scales she's got a basket of apples hanging from this branch and that branch so balancing so try to make a compromise and it's a good time to sell the house okay I don't want to get 
pessimistic, but I think there are hard times uh, coming round at around the end of July. So it could be that you're sprucing up your home to sell it because you are moving home and you could do with the money. And perhaps you might be downsizing instead of upsizing, but it's a good time to sell a house at this moment and it is also, I think, a good time to buy a house because there are some houses that are still at low prices before they shoot up at the last moment so remember that so if you want to move home remember that you have luck on your side big time there is a new beginning okay there will be celebrations you might be moving in with somebody share and share alike so perhaps you might be sharing a new house with somebody. You have your soulmate around you. Take care and I love you. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please share this reading and give us the thumbs up. Until in the life, either fri a Friday or Saturday. So keep an eye out for when I go live. Take care, be blessed and I love you. Stay safe.